Hey everybody, Nick here, and I have a wine review for you today that I'm very excited about because it's two of my favorite things. Pinot Noir from Burgundy, France. So today we're reviewing the Chanson Burgundy Pinot Noir or Bourgogne Pinot Noir, if you wanna say it all French-like. And we have a heck of a deal on this wine. That's where you know I watched this. Um, really great price for a really great wine. And I got some cool information to share with you that I think you're gonna find pretty interesting about where this wine comes from, how it's made, and what it tastes like. So keep watching. First of all, Domaine Chanson. The people that make this wine started in 1750. They're one of three producers in Burgundy that has that much history. That gives them a lot of access to old uh, barrel stock. They have a great winemaking facility right in the middle of Burgundy. And they have some really great vineyards too because they've been, along, been around for that long. Even though they've been around for that long, the quality kind of dipped a little bit towards the end of the 90s, early 2000s. And that's when the people that own Champagne Bollinger came in, bought the winery, and just poured a ton of money and know-how into Chanson. So the quality's just skyrocketed since that purchase. They didn't just put money in, they didn't just buy old pretty new facilities. They brought over their production team, their growing team, and stuck a ton of that technical know-how into the winemaking. And that's what I wanna talk about with this wine, is some of that technical know-how and philosophy that Bollinger brought over to Chanson. So, I don't usually like to talk about a lot of production technique things. It can get a little too weedy for a lot of people. And does it really matter? You know, just as long as what's in the bottle tastes good. Is that all that matters, right? But I think it's important with this wine because Pinot Noir is such a finicky grape and the way you make it can really, really affect what you taste. So Chanson does two things with their red wines that I think make a big difference. First, they do whole cluster fermentation and second, they do cold soaks. What are those things? Why do they make a difference? So whole cluster fermentation is most people, when they are fermenting their wine, what they're gonna do is they're gonna take the individual berries off of the stems of the grapes and then just ferment the berries. Now, whole cluster fermentation, you don't take it off the stems. You throw the whole stems, the whole berries, everything. You throw that in, get that all pressed, and then throw that in the fermenter of the gathers. So you're gonna have some twigs, some, maybe some leaves, a few other things like that. And what that does is it puts a lot more tannin into the wine because you're getting some tannin from the stems. You're also bringing more natural wild yeast into the fermentation. So you get more of that flavor of the vineyard it came from, from that wild yeast, and also more tannin. So on something like Pinot Noir, where it's a low tannin red wine, if you like a little bit more structure on the back end, a whole cluster fermentation is something you like. They're doing this more in Burgundy. You've probably seen it from Willamette Valley in Oregon. But so yeah, whole cluster fermentation. The second thing that they do is they do a cold soak with all of their Pinot Noirs. Now cold soak means that once they pressed off the juices and have the wine sitting in a big tank to ferment, they drop the temperature really low and they let that juice sit on the grape skins at a very cold temperature for, for, they actually do weeks, which is a really long cold soak. While it's sitting at that cold temperature, the juice is taking color, flavor, tannin, just extracting that from the skins. And red wine, if you didn't know this, most of the flavor, aroma, tannin, all of that comes from the skins. So the longer the juice sits on that skin, the more opportunity it has to get flavor. So I think you get a lot of flavor out of that. And that's why those two production techniques, whole cluster fermentation, cold soak, that's why they matter. So this is their um, entry level wine. It just says Burgogne or Burgon, Burgundy, you know, if you wanna be, uh, be the more Americanized pronunciation. So just a basic entry level wine, but for $13.99, this is, this is a great price. We have it on sale while supplies last. Um, we had some people over from the winery uh, last week and I was able to just get a pretty good deal. Um, it's great to talk to them, learn about the wines. And in Burgundy, sight is everything. It really truly matters. You can have a village right here, and then one right here, a couple meters, a couple hundred meters apart and one sells for $500 a bottle, one sells for $10 a bottle. So you have to have good sites, good vineyards. The weather is so complex, the soil types, they're so different, and you have good sites. This wine's coming from the Cote de Bone and the Cote Chalonnaise. These are great sites that are a little bit warmer than some of the other places in Burgundy. And what that means is you get riper fruit, more of that nice fruit flavor that I personally like in my Pinot Noir. Uh, I know a lot of people do. So you get some of that like Sonoma Coast red fruit, black fruit out of it. That's really nice. So let's get into the wine. It's about time, right? Talked about everything else. So 
really aromatic. The cold soak really helps with that. You get more of all the flavor out of it. And I get a lot of like brambly, blackberry, raspberry, maybe even a little bunch of currant. But what I'm really reminded of is a blackberry pie. It's not just like, you know, you take a blackberry and, oh, this, this blackberry is good. It's got that kind of like pie feeling type of fruit character where there's a little bit of sweetness to it, a little bit of, um, I don't know, viscosity is the right word. But you know what I'm talking about. You know the difference between a blackberry pie filling and blackberries. So that's kind of the flavor I get along with some of that raspberry, some of that currant. It's uh, really pretty fun, nice, nice fruit character. In addition to that fruit finishes with some baking spices that you'd expect out of burgundy, uh, a little bit of kind of like black licorice type baking spice as well. And then there is definitely a touch of tan on the back end. Some acidity really balances the whole thing off. And again, that's what that cold soak, that whole cluster fermentation does. Puts it and gives it some structure, some back end. It's really nice. And that back end, that acidity, that tannin makes it such a great food pairing wine. This is low alcohol. 13% which is really nice to go with food you can have a little bit not feel super uh, tipsy if you will a couple pairing ideas for this one uh, braised meats if you think of beef bourguignon beef burgundy it's right in the title it's a great pairing with this um, I wouldn't necessarily cook with this this is probably a little too nice of a wine to cook with but grab a cheap Pinot Noir make the dish with that and then pair it with the chanson great pairing idea Two, um, this is great with cheeses, all sorts of cheeses, you know, a soft cheese, a brie, a blue cheese, a cheddar cheese even, really nice thing to have with that. Maybe some cheese, some honey, some apples, a uh, fun little uh, pairing idea. Um, next thing would be if you wanted to do like a roast chicken, great pairing with that, really like that. And then finally salmon, um, that nice red skinned, red flesh fish is really great with the Pinot Noir. So a couple pairing ideas there. So wrap it up. Chanson, Burgundy Pinot Noir. We have it on sale for $13.99 while supplies last. Come on in and get a bottle. It's a great price. Really happy that we keep bringing it to you. Hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Cheers.